learning to uninstall CopCut from your Windows computer really frees frees up valuable storage space and gives you control over the software you have installed. This can be very helpful if CopCut is no longer meeting your editing needs or if you simply want to try a different video editing program. Also, maybe CopCut started to lag a lot, started to lag, started to crash and by basically by when installing and reinstalling CopCut, you can stop this problem, this lagging, crashing problem. And I had this problem myself. And by just re just simply when installing CopCut, this solved the problem. So I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do. So let's jump right into this video. So I'm going to start simply by writing here in the control panel, in the control, in the search bar, sorry, control panel. And I'm just going to click on this. Now, simply here, I'm going to look for, can I start with category, uninstall a program. And here, I'm just going to look for CopCut. Now, I'm going right, to right click on CopCut and click on uninstall and change. If you click on this now, you can click on yes. And this is now going to open an, uh, CopCut and it's going to say here, are you sure you want to install CopCut? And also keep here, uncheck this button. I mean, if you don't want to, if you want to keep your user data, uh, you should check this. But if you want to really clean up CopCut thoroughly and so you don't have, uh, you can reinstall CopCut and then um, you can really clean up your entire computer. So you remove everything related to CopCut. I really encourage you to actually uncheck this button. You keep user data. But as I said, if you have some user data you want to keep and your general user that you want to keep, you can leave this as it is. But anyway, I'm just going to check this and then click on OK. But I'm not going to do it because I did it <laughs> already. So now, after you actually uninstall it, what you have to do now, just so you know, guys, you can also go to con to apps if you write apps or just go to settings. And here in settings, one second, here in settings, you have apps. So if you click on apps and you click on install apps, you can also here search for CupCut. That's another way to remove uninstall an app in Windows 11. So here I'm just going to write cup cut and here you should see cup cut. And you can click on this three dots button and then click on uninstall. That's another method to remove an app from Windows 11. Now after you installed cup cut, what you're going to have to do is actually go to Windows settings. So if you press the Windows logo plus, so if you go to system and then storage, and here you're going to see temporary files. It's going to clear up any cache you might have related to CopCut. So it's a good idea. Wait for the scanning process. Then we're going to have to click on delete delete flies, uh, files. All right. Don't check this button. It's going, if you have per, uh, important details, uh, sorry, files in download folder, then it's going to delete that as well. I don't want that either. So I'm just going to delete, click on remove files here. It's not going to delete any important files, only if you delete files from download. And now I deleted this. Now the other way to clean up your cache, things related to CopCut. Now the next step, press Windows logo plus R. And here you're going to have to type percentage temp percentage and click on OK. And now here you're going to have to delete all these files here. So control plus A, right click and click on delete. Very simple, but really important. Now, if there's some files that you can't delete, that's totally fine. Check this button and click on skip. 